What's up guys, Kevin here, back again with another video. Today I am talking about the Kiko Asics Gel Terra Moya. Uh, this is a part of Kiko's new, I guess, subdivision under Asics called Novalis. So I'm not exactly too sure if this is going to be um, a full line like underneath like ASICs like a diffusion line or if it's just another sub project because Kiko has been involved with kind of few sub projects, you know, like um, FX works if I remember correctly. That's like his like radio show ASICs Novalis. It's not just the shoes. There's just a bunch of other clothing products and stuff like that. Um, which I think are really cool. Um, I really like that he doesn't just focus on footwear, that he focuses on apparel and that whole sort of vibe and whole sort of um, like wardrobe. Uh, but today I am talking about the Asics Novalis Gel Terra Moya. Here is the size tag. So this released a few months ago, if I remember correctly, and then they had three colorways. They had a yellow, they had a purple, and then they had an obsidian, which is the one that I'm reviewing today. Um, I got this in a US 9. Uh, one, because uh, I worry about some like Asics shoes fitting small. Um, the Novalis, I've never worn it before. Um, I got a size nine just to test it out because some shoes might be a little snug, like, even if I half size up, um, but like I would recommend either going true to size if you have narrow normal feet, but if you have wider feet going up half a size. So as you can see, the box kind of unique. Um, it's kind of a thicker cardboard and here are the shoes. Let me set it aside. Here are the insoles, just a normal arched Asics insole. Um, it does kind of feel like there's a little bit of like an ortholite cushioning, but nothing too crazy. Uh, there are no additional laces that come with this shoe. The Asics Gel Novalis Terra Moya. Talking a little bit about the details of the shoe. Uh, the most striking point of the shoe is this synthetic leather that goes around on both sides. I thought that kind of creates a cool sort of silhouette, sort of slim down silhouette. Um, this is like synthetic leather. It has some tumbling on it. Um, it's nothing too crazy, but for 250, that's something that you have to consider. Um, it's not super, super high quality. Um, it has a six Novalis branding on the sidewall. This, feels like uh, like almost like a patent leather, like a molded patent leather. The ASICS logo on the back, as well as the Novalis logo on the sole. Something to mention about the sole, um, this is actually where Kiko has put in some kind of tech into it, modern ASICS tech into it. Um, so the sole, has FF Blast Plus Bounce Cushion Foam. So it has the FF Plus, which is used in their running shoes, as well as a heel bounce. This is gel in entirety, this middle sort of pillar thing. Um, and I think it's cool because when you look directly into it, you can kind of see through it. So it gives it that like almost um, like, a, like an exoskeleton sort of look. The interior, same old, same old. The FF Blast Foam is right there. Here's the bounce. Um, the bottom of the shoe, the outsole tooling is such a cool tooling where it's almost topographical, uh, where it has all these ridges in it, which create a very comfortable ride. As you can see, the rubber is durable, but it has, has a, a, honestly a lot of cushion. And again, I'm going to unlace this. There is Asics Novalis branding right on the tongue written in that font. Same with the Novalis logo right there. Um, it is just a standard poly lace, no extra laces on this pair. Uh, for 250, you would expect like maybe at least one more, but maybe they put most of the money into designing new silhouettes as like Kiko is really fond of creating these obscure, weird silhouettes that only go on for like maybe a season or two. Uh, but big fan of this. It gives it that very, very sleek, slim look. Um, and the obsidian, in my opinion, is my favorite color. The toe is also kind of interesting where the two side panels kind of meet right there. And then the toe box is essentially this whole thing with the 
semicircular uh, stitching going down, like the radial stitching. Lace holder there. This also holds the lace. And yeah, uh, in terms of quality, I know I keep on mentioning the price tag. Um, it really depends on how much you value um, having a new silhouette and having something not be from ASIC's pre-existing product catalog. As Kiko, uh, again, like I mentioned, uh, he really likes to create new models, new shapes, and new styles, uh, but that may come at a cost of the quality of it. Um, there are quite a few glue stains on my pair. There's glue stains like writing up here. There's glue stains all across the bottom right there on the foam as well. Uh, so in terms of that, the build quality, maybe the QC wasn't all there, but they just put more money into development uh, of the shoe. I know that there is actually a new Terra Moya coming out for spring summer 24 that I mentioned on my coffee break that has that molded mesh instead of this faux leather, which I thought that also looks really cool, um, especially the uh, blue color. I really like that one. In terms of styling for the Terra Moya, um, I honestly would just go with a black pair of trousers. I think a lot of uh, Kiko stuff goes really well with either uh, a pair of technical pants or a pair of just slim, or not slim, but like regular fit trousers. I think they sit very nicely on top of the silhouette and kind of give it that like cone driving forward sort of shape. But yeah, uh, like let me know what you guys think of the A6 Gel Terra Moya. Um, do you guys like this new model from Kiko? I think this is actually one of his best uh, in a long time. I wasn't really feeling a lot of the stuff after the Gel Burst 2 or um, that updated UB1 uh, like Kayano that they released um, a few years back. But I think this is really like, I think they knocked it out of the park with this model. So yeah, like let me know what you guys think. Did you guys pick it up? Um, are you guys considering it uh, like 250? I believe some sizes on the yellow colorway is still available on a6.com um, I think maybe some third-party retailers might have the purple or the yellow in stock I tried to find maybe an eight and a half in the um, Obsidian but no luck, but a a6 does come it back in stock semi often so maybe check that out thank you guys so much for watching i'll do an on feet and i will talk to you guys next time peace